shot! No shot! Based on the length of time that we've gone in this search, the extensive search efforts that we've put into it, the water temperature, that at this point, we do not believe that we're gonna find any of these individuals still alive. And so this evening at about uh, 7.30, we are going to suspend the active search and rescue efforts. To hear the words that the key bridge has collapsed, it's shocking and heartbreaking for every single one of us who are Marylanders. The words that the key bridge is gone, it, it still shakes us because for over, for 47 years, that's all we've known. And so this is, uh, this is, this is uh, not, just, not just unprecedented from what we're seeing and what we're looking at today. Um, it's heartbreaking. About 1.30, something to two, my house shook. And it shook again. Every time a piece would fall, the house would, I didn't know what it was. I just thought that they were doing some work up on this bridge and maybe they were doing some demo. Then my daughter called me and said, Dad, the bridge just collapsed. I get out of here. Came across it twice yesterday. Usually you can look and see the crest of the bridge. To me, it's like going to New York and seeing the Empire State Building and wake up this morning, it's gone. It was the craziest thing I ever seen in my entire life. It was like a nuclear bomb. It woke me up out my sleep. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a light sleeper. None of that. I go on TikTok and it said the bridge collapsed. I see that I can see the bridge from my bedroom window. I look, I couldn't the bridge wasn't right there no more. I wake up every morning, I see that bridge every single morning. I ain't see it no more. I go over that bridge two times a day. I was just on that bridge probably 18 hours ago.